Gentlemen, <laughs> their account of me saying that we... <laughs> Me love. You know, at first I didn't remember that I licked the champagne bubble to bubble from your heaving, silvery breasts. <laughs> Nor did I remember the threesome with Eric von Stroheim. <laughs> yes. But, you know, as detail followed detail, Yes, I began to remember. <laughs> and I'm embarrassed uh, that uh, to be at an age when the better parts of my life uh, elude this poor memory. <laughs> Forgive me. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange because I remember exactly what I made on every picture. <laughs> Here's the champagne you ordered, Mr. Diego. Extra bubbly. I'm so glad you're not angry. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You know, I remember the first day we worked together. You were wearing that magnificent flat-brimmed hat with those fuzzy pom-poms on the side. Yes, I remember that day, too. You had a pristine beauty. Yet somehow I knew that just beneath the surface, Boil the passion of pages 81 to 90. You are such a dashing figure. I must say the years have been kind to you. You're still dashing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're still beautiful. <laughs> Roland. Mm -hmm. Why have you come here tonight? The truth? I was hoping that something that happened years ago could be rekindled tonight. Sandra, your skin is as soft as ever. I think that's the pillow. <laughs> Roland! Oh, last night was wonderful. <laughs> well, I thought so. And I didn't miss Von Stroheim one bit, did you? <laughs> Roland! I have a confession to make. It's about my book and us. Oh, say no I... more, say no more. I knew the things in your book were all lies. My memory is as sharp as my libido. <laughs> this was just a, a charade to get into your bloomers. Oh. You bastard. 
Thank you.